Don't worry, this video will not contain spoilers or leaks, just reaffirming details, a cast breakdown and trailer analysis, but let's get into it. Beginning on March the 1st with its standard 2 hour first episode, Survivor 44 is once again set to return to the Fijian Manuka Islands for the 11th season in a row now. And on the topic of returns, the tally of days is still 26, not the prior 39. But firstly, let's talk idols. Survivor 41, 42 and 43 were ambitious in their reworking of the idol, with some methods that spiced up the formula in my opinion, and others best left in the mailbox. But this season has a brand new idol twist, where there's a birdcage with an idol in the middle of a tribe's camp, needing a key to open where the person then has to swap the real for a fake idol like a high scene. It's a really interesting dilemma, and I do wonder if multiple keys will be available, causing the second person to unknowingly obtain a fake. But even with only one key and the similar fake idol, it should allow for contestants to have a good shot at having their idol kept secret this time, which wasn't the same in Survivor 41 and 42, as well as, for the most part, Survivor 43. On the topic of the prior three Survivor seasons, Survivor 44 continues having no theme and just going by its season number. As for the logo, I personally would have swapped this with Survivor 42, as I feel the key and lock imagery would have been cool foreshadowing to the aforementioned birdcage twist. That being said, this logo could be a reference to Survivor 44's Tribal Council, considering the flame pit and flaming torch imagery. If that's the case, our next Tribal Council set could have a very rustic feel, with white stone walls lining the outside, but let me know in the comments if you feel this logo has any significance to the season, and your general thoughts on how it looks. The cast itself consists of the now typical 18 contestants, again on three tribes of six, with the diversity mandate rate affirmed. The first tribe is called Tika, wearing purple buffs, and as per usual the genders are split evenly 3-3. Three to three. The first is 35 year old drug counsellor Carolyn Wigger, but is also known as Cakes on Discord Orc Survivors, and funnily enough I think while I've never played with her, I may have been in servers with her when I used to play orgs. Even from the teaser trailer, you can just see how excited she is to be there on Survivor, picking up random parts of the island and giving them a big old hug. But she is somewhat of a celebrity in orgs and definitely will be now. And she plays Pokemon Go. This girl is definitely my winner pick. Next is Helen Lee, a 28 year old product manager who studied economics at Dartmouth and seeming adrenaline junkie who seems to be more than meets the eye. Finally, we have Sarah Wade, a 26 year old consultant from Rochester, who for some reason looks really familiar to me. Maybe it's just because I've been looking up a lot about this cast, and despite finding some similar matches to her name on social media, I ultimately didn't feel confident to make the correlation in this video, so alas. The first male Tika tribe member is 45 year old Navy veteran and realtor Bruce Peralt also ranked amongst the top 5 outfielders in the state of Rhode Island in baseball and has a love for basketball. He also wears a lot of hats, so he's my sort of man. One of the youngest contestants is Carson Garrett, a 20 year old aerospace engineering student going up in the world, pun intended, even pictured working on the console for the Artemis 1 mission. He has a notable line in the premiere trailer talking about studying FBI interrogation techniques, so in spite of his age it may give him an edge in deciphering his opposition. To wrap up this tribe, we finally have Yamal Orocho, age 35, a beautician from San Juan, going by the name Yam Yam, which possibly is the most wholesome thing I've heard. This man is essentially the reincarnation of Survivor 41's Nasir, which isn't a bad thing whatsoever. Beyond that is the Ratu tribe, wearing orange with probably the most collective notoriety. Exemplifying this is 29 year old Seattle Seahawks football player Brandon Cottom from Pennsylvania, and considering the success of sportsmen in previous Survivor seasons, he's likely destined for a long run. However, he isn't just a one trick pony, this dog lover also claims to be a piano player, cook, and an individual who flies planes. I'm assuming toy ones? 
but in the words of Brandon, it could allow him to be a savage with grace. Following that is Kane Fritzler in his 20s, a law student studying in the University of Saskatchewan within Canada. Did I butcher that pronunciation? Highly likely. Moving on to the last meal on the tribe, we have 43-year-old Matthew Grindstead Meal, a barbershop owner from Columbus. He's a loving family man, but also seems to have kayak experience, which could definitely be useful on the island. Coach, I'd be worried if I were you. Coach leading the tribe of villains, using all of that life experience in a kayak. Now onto the females, we begin with 35-year-old TikTok star Jamie Lynn Ruiz with an impressive follower count of over 200,000. However, she also has a special love for nature, seen in her Good Roots Plant Company, where she inspires others to expand their gardens with gorgeous plants too. Next is 30-year-old Lauren Harp from Baytown and is a teacher. My kind of woman. From her social media, she appears to be this bubbly, loving individual, quite similar to Mariah from last season, and hopefully she doesn't flame out as quickly. Finally, we have 28-year-old Maddie Pamela from Huntingtown, a fun, goofy individual who seemingly loves to surf. Last but not least is the Green Soka Tribe, with 25-year-old Claire Rafston, an investor from Brooklyn who identifies herself as an aspiring game show contestant. And considering Survivor is one of the biggest plus baddest games, I'd say she's starting strong. After her is yet another young lady, Franny Marin, a 23-year-old research coordinator from Cambridge and a self-professed Survivor superfan. The last female comes in the form of Heidi Lagaris Greenblatt, who is a 42-year-old software developer from Clareton. This mother of two seems to be a jack of all trades, being an investor, engineer, has been on a lot of adventures, and despite it being one of the older cast members, is physically active. Beginning with the Suko meals, we have firefighter Danny Massa, 31 and from New York. Firemen again typically make deep runs on Survivor. I just hope this one doesn't want to build a dog bar. We'll be getting on to the Survivor 44 promo breakdown shortly, but it contains one of the most jarring scenes seemingly requiring medical attention, which may require our next contestant Joshua Wilder to step in. He's a 34-year-old podiatrist from Pittsburgh, seemingly wanting to go by the title Dr. Joshua Wilder. Obviously, he can be analytical and strategic, but it'll be interesting to see if that'll be his main strategy or if he has aces up his sleeve. The last individual is a bit of an unknown in Matthew Blankenship, located in San Francisco, but currently, despite my best searching, I couldn't find his age or occupation. Could Mystery Matt be the maniacal monster mercilessly mouthed by Jeff many moons ago? Maybe. Well, in reality, much like Roxroy from Survivor 42, he seems to be a bit hard to find on social media, and as a result, we don't have all the basic information on him at the moment, but that will soon change with cast interviews. I gave my opinion on the cast, unlike my Survivor 43 video, because I have a tendency of being very wrong. And your one is Ellie? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah, I, so um, all of our one is Ellie? Uh, no, my two is Ellie. I have Sammy at one. Why would you do that? <laughs> Just to uh, jinx uh, Ellie so hard. A few moments later. <laughs> Ellie, drop a spoke. There was a concern around Survivor 42 with production casting a physically weaker cast than per usual, combined with a more physically demanding game, however Survivor 44's cast is pretty physical. We have a few individuals with sporting professions, but most of the cast seems to have hobbies or side jobs requiring them to be physically active. Plus this cast is also rather young, probably helping my perception of the entire cast being physically capable. While I like the diversity of the backgrounds from this cast, I am a little disappointed in the age diversity as the oldest person is Bruce at 45. I personally would have loved to see another individual in their 50s play, considering that age range has had notable presences as of recent like Mike Turner and the now iconic Mike Gabler. 
finally teased only a few days ago what was the Survivor 44 trailer, giving us a peek behind the curtain at the roller coaster ride this season seems to have in store for us. Survivor 42's trailer was more focused on the shock and speed of the game, whereas Survivor 43 was more calculated and cutthroat in its presentation. Survivor 44 seems to be telling the story of adventure, but the risks that come with it. We get a lengthy confessional from Matthew about being fearless, Carolyn is trying to interact with as much of the island as humanly possible, and Yam Yam is reaffirming he's the most adorable man ever by fanboying about everything, even pooping in the ocean. We get the return of a mud challenge early in the season, likely one that's very physically demanding like last season, except this time there's a casualty. It's hard to make out who it is and why they collapse to the ground, but it's tough because of all the mud. Nonetheless, whether through exhaustion or through hurting something, this person has collapsed. But it seems like Survivor 42, this premiere is already going to begin chaotically. But let me know your thoughts in the comments on the season and what contestants are your early winner picks. If you haven't already, subscribe to join the Rogue Army. And if all that gross mod wasn't enough, here's a video where I talk about the grossest challenges in Survivor history. Nonetheless, enjoy your day. I hope to see you again. I'm peace.